Well, Cabaret de Paris is said to be a burlesque hip-hop mashup with glamorous exotic dancers, illusionists, and a razor-sharp clown. Please welcome to the cafe two of its stars, Marissa Burgess and Michael Boyd. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Marissa, let's start with you. I have to. How long does and what sort of grooming maintenance does all this take? <laughs> Think about what you do and. Like multiply it by ten. Oh my it goodness! Takes a long, long time. And the dress—is there a lot of tape keeping all this no, together? No, no, there's not. It's they're very well structured and manufactured costumes. So, yes, it looks like just uh, just goes on magically and easily. But there's a lot of tricks to the trade. It looks like somebody's gone whew, and it's stuck mm. to you. It looks amazing. Especially old bling suit up there. You know, she's oh. she's a particularly oh wow. Yeah, I want to make sure that one was on properly. It's very <laughs> tricky to <laughs> make one of those. Well, nice. Well, look, I want to find more out about your history as well. But, um, Michael, you are the producer of the show, which is about to tour New Zealand. That's right. What do you think has made this type of show still so popular all these years down the track? I think it's in, in this day and age there's so much technology that we want to kind of go back in time. And it's, it's a traditional show. It's beautiful girls, amazing costumes, talent, great talent, amazing acts. And you really can't go wrong. It's a recipe for a great show. And but, really got a strong following. Mm. Yeah, and speaking of that recipe, have you kept it tra traditional or are you bringing it into the year 2017? As, as we said in the intro, is it a mashup of it a bit of It is a mashup, yeah. So we get all of the cabarets from France. That's how we started the show. The Moulin Rouge, crazy, crazy horse. Lido. And the Lido. We put them together in our version and we kind of did a modern twist to it. Oh, oh it sounds so, really yeah. exciting. Oh, it looks so sexy mm. and yeah, fun. Absolutely. And, Marissa, yeah. this whole thing, um, it's, it's all about... I think described as luxury, opulence, femininity, and exclusivity as well. It's a real genre, isn't it? This sort of cabaret it style. It is. It's it's elite, and they were sort of uh, unapologetically elite. And uh, we do search the, all over the world for the best um, dancers. As you saw Megan before, she's a, you know, she's a can can. It's an expert, art form. Yeah, it's yeah, that's incredible. And, it's, and yeah. it's an art form, and uh, the people in the show, like Michael said, it's just all quality. So we don't need to put a huge show on. There's not 80 people on the stage, but it's all quality, and each artist is a standalone expert. So the best of the best all mm. in one night, which is fantastic. I can see why tickets are selling very <laughs> well. Um, just more on you when you were in Moulin Rouge in, in Paris, because I've been there, and it was one of the most memorable nights of my life. I'm so pleased I went. What's it like when you do it for 17 years in a row? Do you ever get bored of it? Look, every single job in the world, I think everyone gets used to their job. But you never get used to a brand new audience of a thousand people. Mm. And you're doing like 12, a show, 12 shows a week. Mm. So you never really get used to that buzz in the audience. You always know that the people out there have never seen this before. There's usually no return customers. Right. You get Do that... you go more than once? No, no. no. So you get that energy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, oh, good buzz. Now, Michael, tell me a little bit about your illusions in the show. What are we going to see? Magic. Well, we don't just cut people in half. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> yeah. We cut them in eight. So we're up in the <laughs> oh. we are, They're very fast-paced illusions. Um, it's a nice surprising element because... Um, you're not expecting. We know we're going to see showgirls, we know we're going to see Marissa, mm. but it's a nice surprise element. And um, they're really um, high-tech illusions. They come from Vegas, especially made from the Ooh. designers from David Copperfield. Ooh, so nice. you're going to see the best of the best illusions there and really wow you out. We've also got a great trampoline, a comic trampolinist from Spain. A comic trampolinist? Yeah, he is hilarious. hilarious. And another thing, you walk away talking about him again. Mm. We know we're going to see these beautiful girls, but the, the, he's just pure talent. It's Absolutely variety. Amazing. There's a lot of variety. It's, um, you know, we're topping and tailing with feathers as you do. Our, our opener is just a, mm. a feast of feathers and glamour. Those costumes. As is the finale. How much do they cost? Oh, over a quarter of a million dollars yeah. with the costumes in the show. Good grief. They, uh, some of them you can't even buy now because we inherited them. They're beautiful crowns that they don't make it like that from Paris. And all really the jewel you saw the crown before. Yeah. We've got all of the costumes. You let like Holly that. wear that. Yep. <laughs> You're special. Yeah, yeah. So how do you look after them to it's make sure they're an, kept in tip-top condition? It's an heirloom and you're always checking mm. on it. Mm. You're very, very careful. They can't be replaced. They're made by artisans. How long ago, Michael? I know. So yeah, many years ago. Like and so we treat them like family jewels, really. They, they are. They're made by jewellers. And mm. that's and each piece is precision made. And it's Shrovsky. And you wow. can't kill wow. Shrovsky. <laughs> and, no. you know, clearly this is a, a one-off show that people can see. What do you want people to take away from it, Mike? 
I, I want them to take away a night in Paris. You, just as you said, you've been to the Moulin Rouge. You will, you, it's just like going to Paris, seeing a cabaret. Mm. Everybody, walk, they have a glass of champagne. They walk out there and mm. when they're leaving, they're just, the energy yeah. is just amazing. After, after love the, the evening's show. finished, you really feel like you've gone on that holiday to Paris. Oh, and, oh, and you know brilliant. what? Everyone will go home and try and do the can-can and probably pull a hand. Marissa <laughs> <laughs> Michael, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much you so for joining us. To get all the tour and ticket details for Cabaret du Paris, head along to the websites on screen.